Okay, so the next sweep in this series, um, you can get into this position in the same way that for the previous deep half sweep, you transitioned after he defended correctly for the waiter sweep, or you can just go for it straight off. So since I already showed the defense to a failed waiter sweep, I'm just gonna go um, straight into the, the next one. So it's the same entry, I'm, you know, blocking, knee shield, controlling, and then I'm pushing him away, scooting myself down to, to this leg. So everything I have is now attacking and isolating this leg. So I'm controlling the knee, I'm hiding this other arm, I have my legs figure forward, I'm, I'm walking, but this time I'm, yeah, he's adjusting and he's kind of tracking and following me. So I'm trying to get this, this shift to where I feel his hips sag and his knee now is pointing up, but he's doing a good job of staying glued to me. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get rid of this figure four and I'm going to swivel my outside leg as a butterfly hook. And this leg just comes down to uh, glue that here. If I didn't have that, he could, post out and escape, or maybe he could even slide that off. So I want to keep that glued down there. So now from here, it's going to be a relatively similar movement with my hands in that I'm cupping the inside of his knee and reinforcing it here, making sure I'm not flaring out as with the other movement so he can't hit me with an underhook. I want to keep it in. And at the last minute I can post so that even if he decides to move it, I'm already elevating with my butterfly hook. I'm following him. See how I stay glued with my head so there's no space? And usually you'll end up in a position similar to this where you have him stapled uh, with your shin on the side of his lower leg. Um, sometimes, you know, if your laces might be down, you might have your toes up. It's not a big deal either way. And you might also not come to the foot. Some people will come and, and the knee will be here. So you can just treat it as you were passing the other. Um, the other, from the other sweep, so I'm going to transition to an over under. Even though I'm not technically in his guard, I'm not, I'm not here. You still want to be respectful of the possibility that he can still put on some attacks and sweeps, and you don't want him to create space to get a better guard. So, you know, if the the knee was up, I'm going to drop it, and if it is already down, fantastic. Switching my hips, leaning forward, back stepping, setting my legs just in my upper body to a more stable back control position. So, once more. Off of the knee shield, remembering again that I can do this if this were a failed waiter sweep, um, but I'm just gonna go straight into the movement. So, and again from here, I don't have to attack the other sweep where I'm walking my hips. Um, it works well when that one is failed. This is another option, but I here I can just go for it straight up. So transition my legs, hiding my arms, elevating, following, switch my hand placement to the over under, dropping my knee, leaning forward, switching the hips, elevating my hips as well, and then setting 